Hi boys and girls, I hope you're using your time at home to do lots and lots of writing. And if not, today I want to encourage you to pick up that pencil and start writing some stories. Um, you might be thinking, what should I be writing about? And so if you're having that problem, I'm here to give you some ideas. So today, we're gonna talk about places that I love to go to. And this is just an idea for you guys to try if you're stuck and you don't know what to write about either. So you're just gonna think, hmm, what are some places that I love? One of the places that I love is the zoo. I love going to the zoo and seeing all the animals. Another place that I love to go is the ocean. Makes my heart happy to hear the waves as, it come, as they come in and out. I also like going to the dollar store. I like buying lots of different treats for myself, for my classroom, for my kids at home. And school is another place I love to go. I love to go to school. I love to see all the boys and girls. Lots of great memories at school. This is, I think, what I'm gonna write about today. Something that happened at school. So today I wanna teach you that if you don't know what to write about, you can think about places that you love. You could even think about sports that you like to play or people that you love, but this is a great one too. School is the one I'm going to choose. So let me think of a memory from school that I can write about. What did we do when we were at school last? I know we went to the stampede. So I need to think about going to the stampede. Hmm. I need to think about my story and then I need to plan it across my fingers. So let me see. One sunny day, I went on a walking field trip with my class. It was a long walk and I thought to myself, are we ever going to get there? Then when we arrived at the park, finding a spot to sit was like finding a four week leaf clover. It was very difficult. There was a man singing and playing with his guitar and we all started clapping and humming along with him. It was very fun. Then suddenly we heard the cattle coming. They were surrounded by boys and girls on horses you could hear the clip clop, clip clop of the horse's hooves. It was a fun day. My face always lights up with a smile when I see a cow on the side of the road. It reminds me of my trip to the stampede. So now I need to touch and tell across my pages. So the first thing I did was one sunny day, I went on a walking field trip with my class. It was a long walk. I thought to myself, are we ever going to get there? Then we arrived at the park. Finding a spot to sit was like finding a four leaf clover. It was very difficult. There was a man there playing his guitar and singing and we clapped and hummed along with him. Then suddenly we heard the cattle coming they were surrounded by boys and girls on horses, and you could hear the hooves clip, clop, clip, clop. It was a fun day. My face always lights up whenever I see a cow on the side of the road. It makes me remember the day we went to the stampede. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch across the pages so that I can remember the story that I wanted to write. So one sunny day, I'm gonna need to make we went on a walking field trip to the stampede so here's the road here I am and it's just a quick sketch so it's not my best work and you can see all the boys and girls behind me We're going on a walking field trip to the stampede. Okay. I thought to myself, such a long walk. Are we ever going to get there? I'm going to continue sketching over the next few pages to help me to remember how my story is going to go. It is just a rough outline of my pictures. 
Then I will go back and add details later. The last thing to do is go back and start writing my story. So I'm going to use the clues on the page to help me to remember my story. One sunny day. I think I've given you lots of great ideas to think of something to write about today. Whether it be a place that you love or maybe a sport that you like or somebody that you love. Um, Get started. That's all it takes. Pick up your pencil and start thinking. Happy writing.